Okay, I'm getting ready to put the fast foot fabric down in the uh, footer here to finish out the form or the trough of the form. <clears throat> and this fabric just uh, you lay it down the trough, secure the bottom of it so it doesn't shift side to side, and then uh, roll the fabric up onto your two by fours, staple it off across the top. You got a trough ready to put concrete in. Come back, add your rebar and your top bracing, and you're ready to go. So let's see if we can form up this uh, first one here. About to call it a wrap for the day. I wanted to show you real quick though what I'd gotten done. And uh, this is the footer for the front porch, and it's wrapped all the way up to the first step up on the two sides. Both sides are done. And I got the middle portion that is not done on this side. Next step up is done all the way to the back porch. All the way around to the corner there. And the footer for the back port part of the house is done. So still have the middle footer for the house. In this uh, little section here, I've got to dig out just a little bit and put an extra form in there for a brace for a load-bearing wall. So we got that middle piece, this little 15-foot wall, the middle portion of this side of the porch, and two portions for the opposite side of the porch still to do. So we still got a good bit to do, but. Uh, gonna be another day.
long day, but we got 40 yards of concrete in the ground and rebar stuck out of it. And we'll let that harden up. We'll be ready for some cinder blocks. A few places where the form failed, but it won't affect the structure of it any. Just took a little more concrete. Very productive day.